<laughs> lovely, lovely, just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first draft pro. Beer reviews, right? Something a little different. It's a, it's called Palm. It's a Belgium Amber Ale coming in at 5.2% in a 330 ml can. Seeing as the glass is big and Michelle <laughs> drinks too much, too quick, I thought we'd use two cans. You see? There we go. Covering every aspect. You can show me the can if you like. I'll pour this one. So there we have the can. Think. And focus, there we go. It's meant to be served a bit warmer, but we have taken it out for a little bit, so we're, some, we're somewhere on it, aren't we? Yeah, we have sat out the fridge for a little while, so it's a little bit warmer. I see where they get the amber ale from. If you look, I'll show you the colour in a minute. Ooh. You shook that can up. No, I did not. You do anything to make you look like <laughs> Robbie on here. Trying to make it lovely. I guess I did. Yeah, no, truly. Okay, now you show me that in the picture. So, yeah. So, there's no haziness to this. It's got a nice foamy head on it. As you can see, it's quite a deep amber colour. So, yeah, that's where the name's coming from Amber Ale, isn't it? Yeah, I actually, I'm not too up on Amber Ale, so you want to get a picture of it. Yeah, I, I thought it. it was darker. I'm sure I thought they were going more towards um, brown ale, so it's not quite. Well, there we go. Oh, I thought it would be. Anyway, the beers were purchased from Beer Hawk, uh, beerhawk.co.uk, where your perfect draft kegs come from. We bought a pack of 12 to give them a go, didn't we? Yeah, we wanted to see what this one was like. Um, and from Beer Hawk, it's made with English hops, French barley. And Belgian yeast, so they're mm. saying that's the best of the best of Euro things. There's also some form of champagne malt in it, so wow. some good they, ingredients in there. So yeah, yeah. So they do say what a what a combo. So yeah, okay. Let's give them a go. Let's give it a go on the nut run. I'll get one. <laughs> Not getting too much here. There's, 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 there's something there. Ca caramel. Yeah, there's a malty sweetness that, that doesn't waste pulled on. It's sort of caramel. Caramel toffee, I don't know. Mm. But then is there a hint of citrus? Possibly. Yeah. If there's, if, there, if there's a little bit of a zesty citrus there, it, it's very slight, subtle. Oh, Some black dot. It must have come off me. <laughs> no, it must have been you. But it's got a. I see, like that smell. I've got to think here. Um, it's different. It's like. What is that smell? And it's a smell that I, I know from other drinks. Oh, what is it? What is it? This is a. I can't put my finger on it. Well, I'm not getting it so much. <laughs> no, let's dive in and... Yeah, let's see what it tastes like. Let's put it to the sword. Let's put it to the sword and see where we are. Mm -hmm. We're still on a Munich hangover. <laughs> not quite a bison beer, but something different. Maybe it's too warm, I don't know. Or too uh, cold, sorry. I don't think so. Yeah, it's not too bad. I'm not sure. It's definitely malty. Ready? It's got a 
slight spiciness to the end of it, yeah. The first kind of t taste is a maltiness. It isn't as sweet as what I thought it would be. There is a hint of caramel there, but there is something almost herbally at the at, at the end of it. Clothing. Possibly. Um, yeah, and it does have hints of fruit, doesn't it? It's definitely different. It's like I'd have to go a bit more to know. Let's give it a nice smell. It's certainly not like a brown ale. No, definitely I not. I still can't get this smell right on the head. There's something with it. A smell. That I'm... It's not. It's not as roasted a taste as um, the brown ale. No, it's definitely not along the lines no. of brown owl. So I thought that amber owls were edging towards brown owls. Because amber owl, I thought, was like a darker pale owl. I'm sure that's what I read before. And something that it's not so... Oh, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely a fair amount of carbonation in there. I mean, it's giving you a slightly sweet hint to begin with but not as much as I thought it would. No it kind of starts off sweeter obviously your sweet malts in it your, your caramel and so on but then it's going like mm. it's like a, a fruit well, it's like bready biscuity um, it's not that's offensive not, that's not, it's, all, it is, it's almost kind of a herby kind of taste at the end It's definitely not offensive at all. It's got those flavours that are balancing each other off quite nicely. Um, I'm just letting it sit and letting my palate adjust to it. And yeah, that, that's quite pleasant. Yeah, as I said right from the start, it's certainly not offensive. I really wasn't sure on an amber owl. I thought, oh, it's going towards the brown owls. Now, I've not got on. I've tried a couple of brown owls and I really haven't got on with them. Mm. I wouldn't say that they're my favourite thing either. I mean, the last, <laughs> the last one I gave Martin, didn't I? The open bottle. My, uh, poor, my poor mate got drunk and he had the open bottle in his jeans and it looked like he'd um, piddled yeah, he himself. Yeah, he popped it in his pocket, which wasn't the wisest idea when he was walking along. But, um, oh, that's different. That's definitely different. There's a bitterness as well that's coming through. That isn't unpleasant. It's kind of balancing off any sweetness that you're getting at the beginning. It's definitely different, isn't it? It's just it's totally different yeah. to anything I've I thought was a say. It compared to pale ale, but wasn't so poppy. I'm sure that was it. I'm not picking up a lot of citrus in there in the flavour. It's a weird one to describe, isn't it? It's definitely our because we've never obviously reviewed an amber ale before, but it's definitely like pear, apple coming in at the end. And the more of it I drink, the more I'm, I'm picking up. I'm not getting no fruit. I'm not getting a lot of fruit there, no. I can, I can pick up the kind of sweet caramel. -ish. That's at the beginning though. That's that dies off reasonably quickly and it's followed on by a slight um, bitterness and a herby kind of flavour for me. Okay. It's a definite tough one isn't it? So, it is. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I'd have to drink a few to think here. Um, on first taste I'm going to go with You've got the same number as me, isn't it? I'm going spying on at what I'm doing. I'm not spying. I've already put mine down. I picked out there. seven. No, you didn't pick out seven. I'd already done one. Yeah, you well, I it. can't see behind the bar. You can see what I'm doing down so there. So I look down at you, do I? Next thing you know, I'll be looking down your top. <laughs> you know, because I'm higher up, you see. I'm a beast from the east. <laughs> no, well, right. This one is one of those ones that you would have to. I, I personally would have to drink a few to see if I'm going to get into it or not. The flavours that are there aren't unpleasant, and I think this could be something that I could drink a little bit more of and get into more. 
Yeah, it's something totally different, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, I'm on a, I'm on a yes, I'm on a seven. Yep, seven from eighty. I mean, Michelle just copied me as you know, <laughs> and I'll definitely give this another go because I'm finding, as I say, I'm getting pear at the end now when I wasn't at the, start. at the beginning. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd go further with this one. As I say, it is hard sometimes when you do a review of something that we're not familiar with. You got to remember, mm. there's, there's so many people. Someone else could review this that knows Amber House, and their review will be far better than this because they know what they're talking about. Yeah. But if you don't try, you're never going to learn, are you? Yeah, no, this is definitely something that's different to us, um, but not altogether unpleasant. So yeah, no, I'll, I'll definitely try it again. Good, because we've got. <laughs> pack of cans over there. Never mind. So yeah. I've definitely tasted worse. I've tasted a lot worse. But then I've tasted better, so <laughs> it's totally out of my comfort zone for me. Um I've gone totally out of my comfort zone many times lately, but yeah. as I say, if you don't know and you don't try then you won't know and so on. As I say, we're both on a yes. We're both on a seven. Um if you've had it, let us know what you think because if you're watching this and you got this far, you probably know a lot more about these than what we do. And I'll say, I'm always up for comments and everything. Yeah, it's it's great to hear your views and things. So yeah, they're probably better than be ours half the time. <laughs> Obviously, maybe most of the time, but we do try, and that's what counts. Um, as I say, we'll um, we're both on the seven. We'll go on that. And um, you got this far? Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, and bonjour. See you on the next one. See ya.